garden in front of that small cottage. And in that garden, he grew peas, he grew beans, and he grew onions. No one could grow onions as big as him. Not even you, or even you. Each and every year, his onions got bigger and bigger and bigger. Until one year, he grew the biggest onion anyone had ever seen. Everyone who walked past his small garden, they all went... <gasps> never seen such a big onion. This onion was so big that if I was to cut off the top, if I was to scoop out the middle, I could put you, 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 well, all of you inside, and there'd still be room for me as well. It was a great big onion, no word of a lie. This onion was so big, it reached the ears of the Lord of the manor. He decided he would go and have a look at the onion. He rode up on his finest white charger. But when he got close to the garden, he went... <gasps> he had never seen such a big onion. He said to the poor man, he said, That is a big onion. I know, said the poor cotter. It's good, isn't it? It's big, said the Lord, but is it good? For what can you do with a great big onion? I've been thinking about that, says the poor man. And I'm going to send the onion to the king. London, that way, somewhere. Well, when he heard that, the Lord threw back his head and he laughed. He went, oh, he said, you fool, you dullard, you ninny hammer. The king has jewels. The king has a golden pointy crown. Whatever would he want with a great big onion? But the poor man did not listen. He wrapped the onion in a big piece of linen and he sent it to the king. There was the king in London sitting on his throne. King. <laughs> but when he saw that onion he went <gasps> he had never seen such a big onion no one had sent him such an unusual gift and he thought to himself I am king for such a wonderful gift I must send the poor man an equally wonderful reward but what? well knowing he was poor what better to send him than a great big purse of the chinks a great big purse of gold the poor cotter was now very very rich News of his newfound wealth, <coughs> it reached the ears of the Lord of the Manor. And when he heard, he grew angry, he grew jealous. He says, that's not right, that's not fair. He got a great big purse of gold for one onion. But wait, hold on. If he got a great big purse of gold for one onion, what would the king give me for my finest white charger, my best horse? He sent his best horse to the king. And the king was very pleased. No one had ever sent him such a fine horse before. He thought to himself, I am king. For such a wonderful gift, I must send the poor man, the, the Lord even, an equally wonderful reward. But what? A few days later, the Lord was sitting in his great hall. There was a boom, boom, boom on the door. His servants, they opened the door quickly. And outside were all the king's men carrying a great big wooden box. And the Lord, he thought, a great big chest of gold for me. I am rich, but I shan't open it now. I shall spend some of this money upon a fair and fine feast. I shall invite everyone from far and near, near and far, including that fool, the cotter, so that he can see what a really good gift to their king gets as a reward. A great feast was held. Everyone ate themselves full. They drank themselves silly. And at the end of the night, the Lord stood up behind the great wooden box stroking it backwards and forwards, forwards and backwards, saying, my box, not your box, not your box, all mine. And slowly, very, very slowly, he began to lift the lid. Now at this point, I've got to let you to another little secret. As well as being a lazy storyteller, I'm not very good at creaky lids. So everyone will have to help me with a very creaky lid after three. One, two, three. Keep going, it's a big lid. It's a very big lid. The lid creaked open. The Lord looked down. And as he did, the smile fell from his face as water falls from a duck's back or drips from an umbrella onto your head. Then. But inside that great big wooden box... That's my mummy said do. Ah, that's <laughs> For inside that great big Making wooden box was a great big onion. 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 <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you for listening. Taffy, unfortunately, has been ill, but as I said before, if you want to um, get a half price for That's anything at the else at the festival, something Thank you may not have booked for, just take you. your walking ticket to the box office and you'll be